Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the review for this BenQ GS50 and uh, this is a portable projector from uh, BenQ and this projector has got a lot of awards and I had actually purchased this one last month so I have now used it for a month and let's find out if this projector is good for you and what are its shortcomings. This is what we get uh, and I like that uh, we do get a carrying case on this and it's a very high quality carrying case with a zipper and uh, all the stuff can go in and we also get a remote controller I'll show you and we also get a pretty big uh, what do you say power brick on this one this is something I do not like this power brick is actually bigger than some of the laptop bricks uh, they could have actually bundled a small GAN charger because it just except 45 watts of power so that is the power brick is there but I don't like it's that very big so I'll keep that to the side and let's come back to the projector itself and if you notice the projector uh, is actually a uh, not that big it's a cube like uh, thing and if I bring a smartphone for example this is the s23 ultra and in terms of height if you notice the s23 ultra is taller than this one and length this is slightly bigger so as you can see not very very uh, big and that's why we call it a portable projector and you have this plastic accents over here uh, some vents here for the speakers actually the speakers are very good on this one and we also have a carrying uh, this is a full leather kind of a thing and you can use this to uh, carry it but I won't suggest this just pick it up because the projector is actually pretty dense uh, moving towards the back we have some vents to dissipate the heat and a normal usage when you're just watching uh, videos and movies and stuff you will not notice the sound but yes if there is complete silence you will notice the fan noise a little bit when it gets hot again here we have one more speaker this is actually the subwoofer it has a 10 watt subwoofer and the total output of the speaker is actually 20 watts in fact i would say in terms of a built-in sound from a projector this one has to be one of the best sounding in fact it sounds way 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 better than many of the actually televisions uh, front if you move uh, here we have uh, quite a few sensors on this one uh, we have a LED projection this is a LED based projector we also do have a camera over here this is actually used for auto focusing and uh, on the top actually uh, here we also have a sensor this is the light sensor on this one when you get it there is a plastic on this and on this just kindly remove it uh, uh. and we also have a kickstand here if you notice you can just press this and adjust the height of the projector and you can just it's variable like this so it's easy for you to just adjust the height like this we do have keystone uh, you'll have to obviously use it but height adjustment you can easily do this with a built-in kickstand on the top of the projector we do have some buttons but again you will hardly use this because you'll control it completely via the remote control uh, we do have a power on a switch we also had a dedicated bluetooth board but the speakers are so good you can use it as a bluetooth speaker and in fact uh, the speakers are very very good you can certainly use it as a standalone speaker but again it's bulky and volume control over here moving to the ports on this one this is the flap and this is splash proof uh, kind of a thing uh, if you notice uh, here are the main ports you do have audio out we also have a usb type c port this is actually a display port so you can use it uh, with a display port to project uh, what do you say videos or images we do have one hdmi slot one usb port on this one and we also have a lock on and off over here uh, so you just Put it like this and you are good to go. Another thing is that as it's a BenQ uh, projector, the power port, the power brick will go in over here. But the good thing is that if you have a PD charger, uh, uh, which uh, supports over 45 watts, you can actually charge uh, this projector and use it uh, by connecting to this USB Type-C port. So if you wanted to use it for extended periods of time, you can use it. It does have a built-in battery on this one. So you can use it directly like this. And they claim about two and a half hours of battery life, but it will give you anywhere from two hours to about three hours of usage based on the mode that you are. I'll show you the modes later on. Uh, we do also, and this is slidable and this opens. And... Uh, you also get this BenQ stick in the box and you can remove it like this and you have to attach it like this and this is the BenQ QS0 stick that's how it actually gets the Android TV functionality but I'm not very happy with this one I'll talk about that uh, later on in the video so this is how the projector is and it's pretty compact as you can see uh, from this and you can carry it along 
with you okay uh, let's also lo look at the remote controller and if you have seen uh, any of my videos on other benq project it's exactly the same remote controller that we are getting even on this uh, uh, what do you say projector good thing is that this is very very functional and if you use it with the benq stick we also have the android uh, voice commands you can use and various commands that you have from here you also have a dedicated button here uh, from where you can control the projector settings from this one so guys here is the projector that i have placed here and i'm just projecting it on uh, this uh, wall and uh, this produces about uh, close to about 60 inches of image as you can see the port, uh, the projector is pretty small uh, but the power brick as you can see is pretty big and it's going to be projecting over there guys uh, this is the default interface that uh, you get and this is uh, the android tv stick that is the qs01 stick that i showed you this is the interface that you get this is the android tv interface that you're getting and as you can see i have a tube light that has actually switched on then also uh, you can actually watch content on this projector because this is relatively bright that's a 500 ansi lumen uh, projector but let me just switch off the light because uh, again uh, you get the best picture quality when the lights are switched off with projector alexa switch off tube light and i'm just projecting it to a wall guys uh, so again if you have a projector screen obviously uh, the image quality will be a little bit better and uh, again you have all the apps the regular apps on this one play store but two apps that are missing on the qs05 are uh, you don't get netflix and apple uh, tv though this is a native 1080p projector uh, it can accept 4k input uh, so that's actually a good thing on this projector and let me just uh, play this Costa Rica video and again it's relatively bright I would say if it's in the dark room or something like that let me first show you the picture quality then I'll show you the menus and if you notice uh, the colors are very very vibrant on this uh, projector the color accuracy is actually very very good that's the uh, beauty with most of the BenQ projectors and that's the case even with this one out of the box the colors are brilliant on this one and this is actually in HDR let me show you uh, it does support HDR I'll also show you in the settings if I go to settings as you can see uh, this is in 1440 but I'll put it max to 4k as you can see this is 4k 60 uh, fps so yes it can accept uh, 4k signal and just notice the color accuracy most of the budget projectors simply cannot produce the red colors and the shades around it uh, clearly but this one out of the box color accuracy is the strength of this projector also if you go to the settings of the projector these are the settings of the projector that you get uh, right now it's in hdr that's why it's showing us hdr 10 uh, so that's what it is and you can tweak a few other settings also here within that uh, mode but again out of the box as i've told you it's very good uh, default of the power brick is connected right now so it will be in the normal mode but you can go in the eco mode and even the low power mode it overall reduces the brightness of the picture this is not ideal in uh, what do you say uh, if you have some light switch on but at night when completely in dark situation uh, i notice sometimes that normal is just too bright so you can just go to the eco mode or the low power mode and this really uh, is helpful this low power mode when you are running it on battery because what i notice is that if you uh, run this one on ba just battery in the normal mode they you will get just about two hours of backup but if you go to the low power mode you can get almost about three hours of uh, viewing uh, within the battery so i feel uh, this mode helps in that situation so here we have uh, some other settings also uh, sound mode we have various sound mode like standard cinema music game and uh, sports uh, so the changes i would say the standard and the cinema have a lot of bass in them uh, whereas the game and the sports uh, don't have that much bass in uh, them uh, not the best android stick and it can get a little bit slow as you can see now it got a little bit slow and it also does not have the netflix or uh, what do you say uh, that uh, Apple uh, TV that's why I'm actually not using this one but I'm using the Xiaomi TV stick which I had reviewed about uh, a week ago it's attached to this one and let me just change the source to HDMI and that's how I'm actually using so this is the one and uh, this if I go back this has uh, all the stuff like netflix uh, uh, apple tv and all those things and again this is also a 4k uh, box and again if you go to netflix uh, to give you an idea let's just play the six underground trailer 
if I go over here and I'll just play the trailer and uh, I'll increase the volume also because volume is very good on this one. Hopefully uh, that gives you an idea about the audio uh, on uh, this one and of course audio is also good and the picture quality is I would say that's the big trump card I would say that we have on uh, this one but again to get the most because uh, um, you don't have that Netflix and Apple TV uh, you might have to put a uh, separate Android TV stick on uh, this one. Now let's just go back to YouTube and let me just play one of my own videos so that we don't fall into copyright issues. Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be going to play and the video for this. The thing that I liked with BenQ projectors is that and I went with this one is because of the color quality. If you notice, uh, the colors are produced very very accurately. Not only the skin tone colors uh, but the t-shirt what I'm wearing is red color and that's also produced really really uh, correctly. And this setting is out of the box. I didn't have to change uh, or fiddle around with the settings. If I go to the picture settings, I would say you get the best colors in the cinema mode. Uh, you can also go to the living uh, room mode. Uh, if you have a little bit of uh, ambient light because this is a little bit more brighter but for the best colors cinema you also have this bright mode on this one but I would not suggest that because it messes around with the colors too much I would say I like the uh, living room or I would say the cinema mode cinema mode is the one that I like because this produces the best colors again in sound as I've told you we have various modes. The standard and cinema have a little bit of bass in them. Uh, music also decent, but the games and sports just don't have any bass. We also do have eye protection on this one. And it actually has an ambient light sensor on this one. Based on the lighting of the uh, in the room, it adjusts the output that that's the brightness. I found it a little bit aggressive. That's why I disabled it. But again, you can play around with it. So that hardware is actually there on uh, this one. And if you go to the system mode uh, here, you can uh, get more information about the projector as you can see uh, I have used it uh, quite a bit as you can see uh, 59 hours and as I've t uh, told you I am out uh, sending it a 4k signal as, as you can see that is 3840 by uh, 2160 at 60 fps so it does accept 4k uh, what do you say input but uh, natively it is a 1080p projector so guys, what do I feel about this BenQ GS50 projector now that I have used it for over a month? Let's break it down with what I like and what are the things that I did not like. Let's start with the cons for, for a change. And these are some of the things that I did not like with this projector and certainly could have been improved in the design. The first thing that I do not like is the uh, power adapter that they have given. It's unnecessarily big. In, in fact, even bigger than many of the laptops. Uh, though this just consumes just about 45 watts, they could have easily bundled a, a what do you say type c gan charger that is very compact but they went with this a stupid bulky design uh, uh, so that is something that i do not like with this one next thing is uh, regarding the android stick that is given in this one this is utterly useless i would say and in fact on this one in fact i have uh, also another BenQ projector that's the X3000i they're high end in that one I do not have and this that also has the same stick and on that projector I do not have any problems with this stick but on this projector because of its compact design this QS01 stick actually heats up and gets laggy and in fact sometimes I noticed after using this stick for about 30 minutes the projector will actually shut down automatically because of the heat being produced uh, once I actually started using another Android TV stick like this Xiaomi stick that heating issue was completely solved so again the QS01 stick is not ideal for this projector and also uh, it does not have uh, what do you say stuff like Netflix and uh, what do you say uh, other stuff like uh, what is that Apple TV and all so this is a very very poorly designed one on this one it traps the heat so it's actually next to useless in my frank opinion so uh, the big uh, another con is that you might have to invest in another Android TV stick. Uh, maybe that will cost uh, a, a, what do you say, a Fire TV stick or a Xiaomi stick. Uh, that will be about almost about four thousand rupees. So that is something that I do not like. Next thing is 
the sound quality on this is excellent one of the best as i've told in a portable projector because of the massive subwoofer it has it's a having a 10 watt dedicated subwoofer and these two other channels the left and right are 5 5 watts so the sound output is very good but the problem is that uh in the sound modes, you just cannot control the bass and treble individually. And sometimes in movies and stuff, if the bass is on the higher level, this subwoofer bottoms out. And that is very, very irritating. And you simply cannot control it. I just didn't get it. How could they? And they can easily solve this with the software update. In a software update, they can give a setting where a user can easily control a bass or treble. In fact, I've seen that in cheaper, what do you say, uh, Chinese projectors. But this does not have. And sometimes in movies, uh, when there is a lot of bass, it bottoms out and that can be a very irritating experience. Uh, next thing is obviously the price in India. This is priced at about 75,000 in India. And I understand that projectors are taxed at 28% GST. That's why the cost is such uh, high. But again, uh, the pricing is certainly on the premium side for this projector. Now mo moving to the things that I really liked on this projector is first thing that I really liked on this projector is the picture quality that I was getting and it's sufficiently bright 500 ANSI lumens and it was uh, sufficiently uh, what do you say good and I would say you can easily get a projection up to about 80 85 inches with this one and it will be a decent experience yes you can go even wider if you want over 100 inch or 120 but again the picture will become a little bit what do you say uh, dull because of the 500 ANSI lumens but overall in terms of picture quality the color reproduction that you get on this projector that is a big big thumbs up to me uh, and, and that's the selling point for this project projector next thing is it's relatively compact i would say so you can carry it around the house and i'm actually using it like that wherever i find an empty white wall i'm just using it and the built-in battery is not technically the greatest but as i've told you will give you anywhere from about two hours of uh, backup to about three hours of backup if you use in the eco mode so that makes it a truly portable projector but again it's heavy guys it's it's it looks small but it's very very dense uh, next thing i like is that it's very easy to use because it has that uh, camera over here which automatically uh, sees the image and does all the auto focusing and all those things and also the keystone correction is also pretty easy with the remote so that way in terms of usage using the projector is pretty easy uh, so overall if i have to rate this projector let's say 10 is the maximum how would i rate it i would rate it a very high rating of 8 out of 10 and uh, certainly the biggest con of this projector is that stupid QS01 stick that they have given on this it actually actually in Indian conditions overheats and shuts off the projector so if you are getting this projector uh, make sure to also buy another Android TV stick for example I'm using the Xiaomi stick but uh, even uh, Amazon Fire TV stick would do the job anyways guys that's it for now for this uh, video if you guys like this video do subscribe to the channel and again stay tuned very interesting videos coming soon so guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys